Hi there, today we're gonna to be spending a few moments in Philippians chapter two. We're gonna look at verses 14 through 16 in our few moments together today. Paul is writing the Philippians to encourage them, to encourage them in the certainty that they have a new life in Christ and that new life in Christ should show, should shine forth should be evident and displayed in their lives. And so we're gonna get into this in just a moment. First, let us pray. God, speak. Oh, how we need you, how our world needs you so badly today. And, and you declare uh, that we are the light of the world. So Lord, enable us, embolden us, emblazon us to shine brightly your glory your praise, your honor, your truth, your gospel to our neighbors and the nations. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Philippians chapter 2, uh, verse 14. Do all things without grumbling or disputing, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life, so that in the day of Christ, I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. <clears throat> the world really needs at least two fundamental things. It needs to know God's glory and grace in the gospel. And it needs to see that evident in the people of God. So it isn't just the blessing of salvation that we enjoy. We should display the work of the gospel in our lives. And so we in our lives should look different Paul's making a distinction here. We are to be those who live without grumbling and disputing, blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish. This doesn't mean sinless perfection. This, this means an, a spiritual integrity and honesty and humility that no longer places its trust in ourselves, but in the living God. And this will be so novel and so spectacularly recognized by the world because it's distinct. You are to do this in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation. We are to declare by our lips and our lifestyle the blessing of the gospel in the midst of the brokenness of the world. And God is the remedy to our brokenness. We are to be those that shine as lights in the world, illuminating the brokenness, calling people to safety and security, holding fast to the word of life so that in the day of Christ, I, Paul, may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. And he wants us to personalize this as well so that I, Steve Jewell, and I, whomever you are watching this video, will not be those that run in vain or labor in vain. This is what is investing, and this is what is worth spending your life for. To love and know our Savior, Jesus Christ. To embrace the work of Christ by the Spirit in us that leads to an entirely new way of life. And then to share and spread this with our neighbors and the nations. To live out the love of Christ to work out what God has worked in, to display what God has done in us. Friends, go and show the light of Christ. The world needs it. The world is suffering. The world is dying for the lack of the knowledge and, and, and truth of Jesus Christ. And how can they know it unless we go? I'll see you tomorrow.